Hey guys, today we are going to talk about another dinosaur from the Triassic period, a big, strong dinosaur. This dinosaur is from the Serapod family. That means it only eats leaves, grass, and plants. We are going to talk about the Platyosaurus. My name is Alejandro, and you are watching Modern Day Philosophers. <laughs> Platysaurus. Can you say Platysaurus? Great. The Platysaurus, the first herbivore in the dinosaur world, this is a huge dinosaur with a big neck that had great mobility to find its food and a small head. A large body with a very big tail, big back strong legs and two front legs with five fingers and very sharp claws. In the early days of the discovery of the Platyosaurus, scientists thought he walked only on its two back legs. Because of the different size from his back legs with his front legs, it was years later that other scientists discovered that it walked on its four legs, but if he needed to reach a high tree or protect himself from another dinosaur, it could stand on its back legs and use his front legs to attack, protect himself, or trap food. His teeth had a razor leaf shape. That is why some scientists think that they could have also eaten small dinosaurs as a part of their diet. They were very good munchers, especially because they had cheeks, which is very strange for a dinosaur. But the cheeks helped them keep food in their mouth while biting for more. Platyosaurus was a very wide group as a species. There were more than 100 types, and some were small as a dog, and others could grow as big as a school bus. The Platyosaurus was found in Europe. Scientists think it was probably the biggest dinosaur or living creature at the time. It is not a fact, but many scientists believe that the Platysaurus lived in herds. That means in a group of Platysauruses, moving around, finding the best food and the best weather for all the Platysaurus of the herd. If that is true, they also believe that the way they would protect themselves is putting the young Platysaurus in the middle of the herd and leaving the strong adults on the sides in case any dinosaur would try to attack them. But seeing a bunch of huge strong dinosaurs probably wasn't so attractive for other dinosaurs to go hunt them. For example, a Herrerasaurus. A Herrerasaurus would have a hard time attacking a herd of Platyosauruses, but there were always other big carnivores that would give it a try.
Clitosaurus is a very special dinosaur, being the first of its kind and starting a huge path for more leaf-eating dinosaurs. So, these are a few facts about the first huge herbivore from the Triassic period, the Plateosaurus. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.